Well, for this one, folks, uh, let's just pretend I'm wearing a crown of a tinfoil hat. Uh, I got some information here that I've had independently verified, but even with that independent verification and how much I trust that person, uh, this information doesn't necessarily tell us the, what's going to happen, but it does suggest something's going to happen. And since it doesn't really give us a what, I'm okay talking about it because a lot of it's going to be speculation. So what am I talking about exactly? Uh, a person who prefers to remain anonymous, I do know who they are, uh, sent me a cell phone picture, so, you know, again, crown hat here, of a sheet or computer, I think it's a sheet uh, from, yeah, no, it's definitely a sheet uh, printed off, from a GameStop store preparing for next week, right? Not this upcoming week, but next week. Now, I wasn't sure about this sheet, and you know what? Screw it, here it is, because uh, obviously it has some stuff cut off, but the important part here is obviously the highlighted portion. Now, what's interesting here is, I first off, when I was double-checking this, I wanted to make sure that this thing is real. Is this actually something that GameStop uses? Um, I have worked at a GameStop in, in you know younger years, but I never got up to the managerial level, and this looked like something the manager would do. You know, it's telling you, know, you know, this is what you need to do, you need to do your accounts right, you need to... Uh, you know, there's specific events happening and marketing set and obviously uh, planning for staff coverage. That's not something I would ever deal with. And I never really saw a sheet like this when I worked there. So I wanted to get some verification. It just so happens at my local GameStop, I am pretty buddy-buddy with the store manager. So today I took this information to that store manager and I asked him, hey, look, are, do you have a similar setup for not this upcoming week, but the following week? Uh, which, you know, each store is going to have their own different thing. Like this one has like a new you know, PC peripheral trade event. That's not happening at this, at my local store. So I just said, Hey, is this, is this right? Is this actually what it looks like? And he said, yeah. Uh, he said all the way down to the exact verbiage, uh, which is in, you know, the, that week thing there where it talks about, you know, um, incentives and all that jazz, which by the way, the incentive portion is what made me feel like this was real in the first place. Uh, when you see all the different incentives and calculate the earnings and all this stuff, uh, incentive bonus, this all sounded like something GameStop does do uh, based on the stories we've heard. But again, I wanted to verify first off that they do sheets like this, uh, for planning for the week. And he said, he, absolutely. They, they do sheets that look exactly like this with the plans for next week. He said to him, this looks real. Now, I'm not sure on the person who sent this to me if they got it off 4chan or where they got it from. Hence, crown, tinfoil crown. But he did say, hey, look, I know under the table, not going to, I can't, again, I can't say my store manager's name, can't even say what store he, look, he works for. Uh, but uh, he did say that, hey, I also have to have double staff for the 15th and 16th. At least it is suggested that I have double staff for the 15 and the 16. Now that's my, my independent store, but he doesn't know why. He hasn't been told anything. I, I straight up asked him, is this because Nintendo's launching new hardware and they're announcing it at E3 and we need, you know, you guys need the staff in to take pre-orders right after and then obviously pre-orders the next morning. Is that why? Is, is that what's going on? And he said, I don't know. This is the same sort of information that they have. It's, we just know that it's suggested to us that we double our staff. Uh, so it's interesting because uh, I don't know what this means. I really don't. Uh, the timing of it is obviously right at the end of E3. And it's possible that a bunch of stuff being announced at E3, whether it's from Microsoft, Ubisoft, Sega, Capcom, it doesn't really matter, Nintendo, uh, that a lot of it might go for pre-order at the end of E3. That's entirely possible as well. Uh, but it, it's interesting because it's called a special event um, and, and you're supposed to plan for double coverage. And, and his also says special event. Uh, but what is that special event? And I, I did clarify with him, have you ever had unannounced systems where you've had to have double staff called a special event when you're not sure what that event is when you're not sure of a console announcement. And he did note to me, yes, he has seen this. He has been the store manager for over a decade. He has seen in the past console launches be called special event. Now, again, I'm not telling you guys that the Nintendo Switch Pro is real. I'm not telling you it's about to get announced at E3. I'm pointing out something that I have independently verified and looks to be potentially legit. And at our you know, my local store, they have something similar happening on the 15th and 16th and need double staff. I don't know what this means. 
This could just be a special sales event. There could be an E3 sales event at the end where GameStop's going to do uh, one of their massive Pro Day sales, right? That could be um, what this is. Uh, it, again, could be for a different major game getting announced from Nintendo. What if it's Breath of the Wild 2 and they're finally going to take pre-orders? Because remember, you can't really, you can't really pre-order the game yet. Maybe it's just going to be that. Maybe there's another massive game. Mario Kart is an example. Maybe that's what it is. It could just be for a massive game. So I don't want to sit here and be like, hey, you know, this is for the Switch Pro. But we can't ignore the fact that it might be. Now, obviously, factually, here's what we know. There's no confirmation Switch Pro exists from Nintendo. Nintendo did state they're working on new hardware. They didn't necessarily say that hardware's coming now. They did say that they have nothing releasing soon. This was back, you know, a few months ago, where, there, uh, where the prior year when they were asked about new hardware, Nintendo said not in 2020. And then in 2021, they said not soon. So whatever soon means, you can kind of infer from that. That's all the only word we have from Nintendo on anything hardware related. They are working on new hardware, but it could just be the next generation platform. Might not have anything to do with a new model of Switch. And... To throw uh, more on top of that, obviously, is that we know that Nintendo has stated at E3 they are focusing on software, or it's ex not focusing, exclusively about software releasing for Nintendo Switch, primarily in 2021. That's like their exact wording, which means primarily means there's going to be some 2022 stuff shown, but a majority of what Nintendo is going to show in Treehouse and what they're going to show at uh, their 40-minute Nintendo Direct is going to be for 2021, which actually makes a lot of sense. If you think about it, we know about like... We, we know some games, right? No More Heroes 3 and Shin Megami Tensei 5, especially now that the Shin Megami Tensei 5 stuff leaked out. So we know about those two games. Obviously, Skyward Sword uh, from Nintendo, but again, that's a port. Uh, and then obviously, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, which is also a remaster, but made by an outside team. So at this point, what the hell does Nintendo have for the rest of the year? It's all a guess at this point. Is it Breath of the Wild 2 or Metro Prime 4 or Bayonetta 3? Three games we already know are announced. Or is it something entirely different? That's the thing. We don't know what Nintendo's working on. But what I do know is at least my local place, and apparently wherever this one came from, is planning to have uh, a, a special event on 615 and 616 uh, that they want to have double the staff for. So they want double coverage for it. I don't know what it means, okay? We could speculate away. You know, you're asking, my, I'm, I'm sure there's some of you out there like, well, well, Nate, you know, you talked to the manager. You kind of got the tone in his voice. What do you think? The manager had no idea. I literally asked him point blank if it's for a game or if it's for a system, and he said, I don't know. It's not something that he's privy to. He doesn't know the information uh, pretty much until the day of. Basically, they get an email, I guess, from corporate on the day of uh, or, or, or the night before they get warned about some pre-orders for something, uh, and then, yeah, then they, they, they deal with that the, the following day. He's not going to lose his job over it because he's not revealing anything to me. He's just confirming something that was already out there, whether this is from 4chan or whether this is actually from this dude who sent it to me that works at GameStop. I don't know if this guy works at GameStop. He hasn't been responding to me, and that's why I was like, man, this seems kind of fishy, hence my independent verification that this is actually something GameStop even uses in the first place and that, hey, is this like a thing happening at my local store? Because if it's happening at my local store, then and it's happening at wherever this came from, that kind of confirms that maybe this is a nationwide thing. I don't know. If you are a GameStop manager uh, who's willing to openly talk about this, I understand you have restrictions on what you're able to talk about, and you're not even supposed to probably acknowledge this thing, uh, but you're willing to go down into the comment section and let me know uh, if you also have a special event that you need double coverage for during your store on those two dates. I'm very curious to just have some extra verification on all of this stuff because uh, I've done everything I can do um, I've reached out to multiple other GameStop employees, none of which were at the management level. They couldn't really confirm anything. Uh, and But again, the manager guy I talked to said, yeah, this is something that we do do. This is something we do get. This week's password for our store is something that we do have, and we do manually write that password in. Uh, the password does change every single week. And this is like, this is legit. This is something that they, they would actually have in their hands. So again, I don't know what it means, okay? But isn't it fun to think? There's clearly something big happening, and it just so happens that it begins on 6.15, the day of Nintendo. Kind of makes you think it's something big with Nintendo. A big game, a big platform, a big something. I don't know what. I wish I knew more information, and if I did, I would be delivering it directly to you. All I know is, I'm really looking forward to 6.15 already, and this kind of makes my hype raise just a smidge. But as always, hype responsibly. I should probably put that on like a t-shirt, hype responsibly. I feel like uh, there is, um, you know, uh, actually I think someone in one of our live streams suggested that I do that. We'll see. Maybe I'll make a t-shirt called hype responsibly. I think that would be kind of clever, especially given all of uh, the stuff that happens. And I think it's uh, important to keep that in mind when we're 
talking about stuff like this and, and potentially hyping things up. So I was already hyped for Nintendo's event. This did raise it up a little bit. Hopefully I see you guys join us for our E3 coverage this year. We have four days of shows happening, uh, special guests. We have gaming competitions, which by the way, you can sign up for all of those gaming contests. I will put them down. Or they, all of those gaming competitions. We got Smash Bros. competition. We got a Mario Kart competition. We got a Splatoon 2 competition. All those signups will be down in the description for each day of E3, a chance for you guys to be chosen to come play against myself or my co-host, Mr. Eric, uh, to win prizes. We also have obviously a bunch of giveaways. I mean, I'll just show off a couple right now. I showed these off on stream earlier today, uh, but we got things like this really cool, like lenticular uh, thingamajigger here uh, with Mario, Bowser, and Peach. Um, we also got a really cool one here with uh, Samus. Can't forget, can't forget Samus and Metroid, right? What if, what if you get 2D Metroid announced or like, you know, we get, uh, we, we, I don't know, there's just a lot of cool, and this is a couple things we've added to it. Um, this is one that I know some people on Twitter were going nuts over. We have, we have this giant wood, um, Ocarina of Time. Um, you know, this is like one of the original posters, advertising posters. Uh, this is wood, painted on wood and textured and everything. Really, really cool. Uh, the bottom line is we have a lot of really cool stuff we're giving away from games to stuff like this. Which, by the way, I bought all this stuff out of pocket. And if there's anyone out there who thinks I'm, all these giveaways are just sponsored, um, I spent a lot of money on this stuff, guys. I'm trying to put on one hell of a unique show for you guys. So hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully we're at least entertaining. If E3 itself is boring and Nintendo doesn't deliver the goods, that would suck. But hey. Um, hopefully you at least have some fun with us along the way. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojans from Nintendo Prime. I'm sure despite all the warnings and everything, this video is going to burn me in the end. You know, that's just how it goes. It is a rumor. I'm not classifying this as anything other than a rumor. Uh, as always, be skeptical. Uh, and technically the rumor doesn't even tell you any information. <laughs> Anyways, it's kind of a weird one, right? It's kind of a, oh, they're planning for something. But okay, what is that something? Guess we'll have to wait and find out. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Yes.